the Southern Pride Smoker Model SRG 400. Operation and Maintenance To begin, make sure the drain pan is inserted below the smoker and that the firebox door, as well as the product loading door, is closed. The smoker can be programmed using the manual or automatic menu setup. To program a manual menu, make sure idle is displayed. Then press the manual menu button to select the cook temperature option. Use the up and down arrows to adjust your cook temperature. Holding down the arrow button will speed up the selection. Once your cook temperature is selected, press Manual Menu again to select your cook time, which is displayed in hours and minutes. Again, use the up and down arrows to adjust your selection. Pressing Manual Menu a third time will allow you to select your hold temperature. Once the cooking cycle is complete, an audible alarm will sound and the length of the hold cycle will be displayed. The hold cycle will continue until the Start Stop button is pressed. If you do not wish to use the hold cycle, press and hold the down arrow until off is displayed. Once the cook cycle is complete, an audible alarm will sound continuously until the start stop button is pressed. Pressing the start stop button will initiate the cook cycle. Once the smoker has reached the temperature set point, an audible alarm will sound. A press of any button will stop the alarm. During a cook cycle, the temperature inside the smoker is displayed on the control. To check your cook time, press the manual menu button twice to display time. Your remaining cooking time will appear. To pause a cook cycle, press the start stop button. To resume, press the start stop button again. To completely stop the cook cycle, press and hold the start stop button until idle is displayed. After the cook cycle is complete, you should use the cool down cycle. To start the cool down cycle, press the manual menu button once, then change the cook temperature by pressing and holding the down arrow until off is displayed. The cool down cycle will continue until the smoker temperature stays below 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Then press the start stop button to initiate the cool down cycle. To program an automatic menu preset, the control should be in the idle position. Press and hold both the up and down arrows for 10 seconds. Automatic Menu 1 will be displayed. Press Manual Menu to enter the setup. Press the Manual Menu button to select temperature and adjust the cook temperature with the up and down arrows. Pressing Enter will save your selection. Press the down arrow and press Manual Menu to select time. Adjust the cook time with the up and down arrows. Press Enter to save your selection. Press the down arrow and press Manual Menu to select hold temperature. Use the up and down arrows to adjust your hold temperature. Press Enter to save. Once the cook cycle is complete, an audible alarm will sound and the length of the hold cycle will be displayed. The hold cycle will continue until the start stop button is pressed. If you do not wish to use the hold cycle, press and hold the down arrow until off is displayed. Once the cook cycle is complete, an audible alarm will sound continuously until the start stop button is pressed. Once all your selections have been saved, press enter twice to exit. To program another automatic menu, repeat the process. Hold both the up and down arrows for 10 seconds. Press the up arrow to advance to Automatic Menu 2. Press Manual Menu to enter the setup. Press Manual Menu to select temperature and adjust the cook temperature with the up and down arrows. Pressing Enter will save your selection. Press the down arrow and press Manual Menu to select time. Adjust the cook time with the up and down arrows. Press Enter to save your selection. Press the down arrow and press Manual Menu to select hold temperature. Use the up and down arrows to adjust your hold temperature. Press Enter to save. Once the cook cycle is complete, an audible alarm will sound and the length of the hold cycle will be displayed. The hold cycle will continue until the Start Stop button is pressed. 
If you do not wish to use the hold cycle, press and hold the down arrow until off is displayed. Once the cook cycle is complete, an audible alarm will sound continuously until the start stop button is pressed. Once all your selections have been saved, press enter twice to exit. Once you've programmed your automatic preset menus, press automatic menu and use the up and down arrows to select your preset menu. Press the start stop button to start your preset menu. To disassemble the smoker for cleaning, first make sure all product racks are removed. Remove the rack slides on both sides of the interior of the smoker by pulling them up and out. Then the air channels can be removed by pulling them up and out as well. This groove in the air channel interlocks with this point in the smoker liner. Using a 7 16th inch socket, remove the six bolts at the front and back of the cover. To clean the firebox, open the firebox door. Use the included ash pan handle and interlock it with the ash pan. Once secure, pull out the ash pan and empty into an approved container. To clean the drain pan, simply slide it out from underneath the smoker and empty contents into an approved container. To inspect the blower wheel for the convection fan, unscrew the thumb screw to remove the panel. The smoker can be powered by either LP or natural gas, which connects to the drip leg here. Make sure the gas valve is turned on. The smoker is powered by regular 120 volt electricity. The tie downs on each side of the smoker can be used to secure the smoker when delivering on a flatbed trailer. Refer to the smoker's owner's manual for further operation and maintenance instruction.